Um, I saw a question in chat that I think is worth uh, is worth mentioning, uh, specifically about alters and the legality of alters in play. So, <clears throat> a magic card alter needs to have three things. You need to see the name, the mana cost, and the card still needs to be recognizable as its original one. You can't paint like a card to look like a different card and try and sneak it through. It still has to be somewhat related. Um, the other thing that you need to know about an altered car, it card is it can't be um, identifiable within a deck. So if a lot of paint is on it and you can uniquely identify it, it falls under the rules of mark cards. That is for a tournament though. Um, if you're just playing commander at home with your friends and the fact that these are meant to be commanders, it's probably not that big of a deal. If you were to try and take one of these cards and bring it into a competitive Highlander event, um, these pass the test of they're totally legal and stuff like that. I haven't put them in a sleeve though. So you'd want to be able to put it in a deck of cards and see if you could unique, uniquely identify it to make sure it wasn't marked in any way. Yeah, also like as a general rule, it's up to the discretion of the judge yep. for the, all those sorts of calls. Yeah, so. but uh, ahead of time, that's sort of the checklist you can run through and always run it by the head judge or tournament organizer if you're gonna use an altar just to make sure they can check it. And like it's, if you're in, in, a, in a really hardcore tournament, is it, would it be prudent to take the real version of the card if you have it as well, just in case you gotta swap it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, something you can even, even watch out for at tournaments is if you have a number of foiled cards to make sure your foils aren't marked in any recognizable pattern, because again, some of the old ones have a bend to them and it can be some construed as new ones have a bend to them. Yeah. So it's just, it's just always about checking in if you're playing with any card that's slightly altered from just classic vanilla cards. Um.